Then did you guys did you guys actually notice that Mark was sweating under AC? Like his family have not even started dealing with him yet. Wow, wow, wow. So something can actually get Mark this shocked. Like shocked to his bone marrows that he can't even hold a glass of wine. Hi! So right now he has started sweating under AC. Someone that said, I want you guys to leave my house. I want you guys to leave. I finally decided to stand by my wife. Okay. Oh. Now the heat is everywhere in the house. We are going to know who is who. And it's now okay that Ben has finally decided to walk out of Mark's shadow. He's no longer hiding under that shadow anymore. Now he wants to take what rightfully belongs to him. And he wants to control it. So now... If they take everything from Mark, we are going to find that if Vivian truly married him for money or Vivian truly married him for love, these are the two things we'll be looking at for. So right now, Vivian, I don't think she knows that both the business and the house does not solely belong to the husband. Because the way all this why they have been saying that their money, that this is in that house, and Vivian have been taking it for granted. She keeps saying it's her husband's house, that whatever they spend, they should tell them, say, so they will give them Thinking that the business the husband is managing is actually his, not knowing that it's not solely his. So, a lot is going to unfold. We are yet to find out who this business rightfully belongs to. Because I'm suspecting that this business rightfully belongs to um, Ben. Maybe because he was outside the country then, when their father died or so. And they then allowed the uh, Mark to lay hold of the business and manage it since he was the one available. I think that is what happened. So right now, Ben has full right to take that business if he wants to. And, you know, Mark definitely, if they decide to throw him out of the house, they are right. Because that is their family house. It's not uh, Mark that solely owns it. Is the family house that they all own it together. So it's not left for Mark and Vivian to go out there, look for an apartment and live happily. That's if happiness will be with them. Because Vivian, I know, has a problem with happiness. <laughs> According to the maid, she has a problem, big problem with happiness. Even in her, if she ever existed in her former life, that's problem still came with her into the current life she has a big problem with happiness so i'm just loving vivian's father in this series the man even with all the advices he's been giving to his son-in-law he's still yet to see the problem he married in as a, as a wife so it's now left for him when they finally take everything away from him let's see if this vivian of a woman will stick with him during the hard time then her brain let's see if Truly, she married um, Mark for money or for wealth. So I also want to commend um, Helen. Helen is super good. This lady is super good. I just love her energy. I just love her vibes. I just love her accent. I just love everything about Helen. She's super good. Oh, every role. She's, she's just picking up her roles. She's just super good. She's too good. Honestly, she's too, too good. She acts so professional. She... Picks up her role, she as in analyzes it very well, carries out her role very, very well. So right now, even as they are teaming up to destroy, um, teaming up to, to cut off from Mark, although not to cut off as family bond, but because of the current problems, even at that, she still have that sisterly love. Even as they are cut burning the house, like she told um um, ben, that even if he's born in the house, let him not burn the bond. So she still, even when, if Mark should definitely come back after realizing his mistake, that they should still accept him. That is what a sister, a, a sweet family will still do. But since Mark have chosen the way of his wife, no problem, we will help him. Let him go with his wife. Let the house breathe. And I just love how Mama just ignored uh, them, she didn't even add anything. She just told Mark that if Ben say he's, he wants his properties, then give it to him. Then he wants it. Ah, God. Just look at the shock on their face. And I know that Vivian does not know that all those things doesn't belong to her husband. So, we are still enjoying this series. It's getting awesome every day by day. So, that is it for my today's review on this episode. 
So we should be expecting to see Vivian's reaction when she finally gets to find out that her husband is not the owner of all those things. Definitely, I think she will carry her load and cry back to her father's house. Or she will call her mother to tell her, see what is going on. And trust me, another war is going to start. Because her mother will tell her not to allow those people to take everything from them just like that. So who knows what next, what she will bring what her husband to do next. And who knows? I just pray that it doesn't get violent, like getting involved with assassins and all those stuff. So that is it for today's review. So guys, bye for now.